G'day and welcome to MW Laser, my name is Matthew. In this video we're going to have a look at the controller from Trosen, the AWC7813. Now this is a touchscreen controller that Trosen have sent me to uh, test out and give a review in my opinion. So this is what this video is about. Now this machine that I built um, a couple of years ago now has um, been performing extremely well and that's using the Trosen 708S controller. Now, I've been extremely happy with that, so interesting to see how this new touchscreen controller performs on this machine. Now, I use this machine every day and uh, it hasn't missed a beat, so I'm hoping that the new controller will perform just as well. Now, the 708S controller has been discontinued, so this new touchscreen model, the 7813, is its direct replacement. And the software that you can use with the Trosen controllers is Trosen's LaserCAD, which is a free software. But the software I prefer to use is a paid version, which is Lightburn. So the parcel arrived from Trosen, and we'll have a look and see what we get inside it. So we get the touch screen, get the mainboard controller. Now one thing I do note about the mainboard controller as soon as I opened up is that uh, it's black and also the text on it labelling all the uh, outlets are also black and uh, it's quite hard to read unless you hold it up into the correct light. So definitely need to refer to the manual so that I can actually uh, identify those outputs. Also in the, uh, the package came some mounting screws, USB cable, a USB header, uh, the HMI interface cable, a ethernet header, an ethernet cable, and uh, that is all. So there's no manual included in the box, but I've been able to download one from Trosen, so I'll have a look at that and get it installed. So as I just mentioned, the um, controller is actually quite hard to read all the uh, outlet um, uh, labels. And that's because they've just uh, used uh, embossed or raised uh, text, or black on black. It's a lot different compared to their previous controller, which was a lot easier to read, silver with the black text. So what I'm gonna do is uh, refer to the manual and um, Put all the uh, labels that I've created. I've created some labels using my label maker and I'm going to label this up just so it's easy to read when I'm doing the install. So I've got the labels here on this controller and uh, the only uh, wiring differences that I see between the 708S and this controller is that the X and Y limit switches are on a plug here whereas the Z limit switch is on a separate uh, plug next to it. However on the 708S controller we have X, Y and Z all on the one connection. That's the only wiring difference that I see so we just have to rewire our limit switches but everything else should be just plug and play straight into the uh, corresponding sockets. So this is the 7813 controller. Now this controller, 78 series, one meaning uh, a single laser tube with three axes. They also do a 7824, which is a dual laser tube with four axes. And they do a 7846, which is uh, four laser tubes and uh, six axes. So this is the, uh, the baby of this uh, series, but it's uh, got all the controls that I need to be able to operate my machine. So in this video I'm going to concentrate mainly on the installation and configuration of the uh, controller changeover. Now if you're installing this uh, new into a machine then you don't need to worry about your existing settings because it's a brand new machine and you don't have a controller that you're swapping from. However, I've got all my uh, calibrated X and Y settings in here, the limit switch, uh, the direction polarity and all those sort of settings uh, good for this machine so I'm going to take note of those before I um, remove the controller and install the new one. So let's have a look at this uh, controller a little bit closer. Now the physical size of the controller, as you can see, it's uh, quite a bit smaller than the 708S. However, the uh, cutout or the uh, section, the recess into our machine is the same size. It just uh, has a, uh, a smaller footprint on the top of the machine. Now on the front here we have our USB port which is just a rubber dust cover to keep the dust out of our USB disk port. On the front of the controller, on the front edge, we have the HMI interface and that goes off to our main board. We also have our Ethernet port as well as our USB uh, for the PC connection. So the user manual available from Trosen and uh, I'm also going to make this user manual available on my website. Now it's a very comprehensive document, about 112 pages. It goes into all the uh, configuration settings that uh, you need, has all the uh, features here all listed, as well as your wiring diagrams, what's included in the box, the dimensions that you need to cut out to fit it onto your laser machine, 
the size of the board and uh, again uh, as I mentioned we have the uh, the wiring so uh, always refer to your user manual if you're unsure and especially seeing as though that these labels are not easily read it's a very good idea to refer to this documentation so while I was installing this I noticed that output 4 is not used and uh, output 6 is used for our layer blowing so that connects through to our pneumatic solenoid so it's all wired up and we've got our uh, HMI interface here on the uh, left hand side and then we've got our Ethernet uh, header as well as our USB header. Now these cables have got some nice right angles on it which make it easy to uh, install. Now this is the moment of truth, we're going to power it on and see how we fare. Okay so the laser head's actually moving uh, to the left and to the bottom and that's not the direction that uh, my homing position is in. So I can press stop and now I need to configure the controller with the settings that I need. And then later on in the documentation it also goes through the uh, touchscreen menu and what you'll find where. It doesn't mention in there the uh, user password, however the user password for the 7813 is 7813. So that should be easy enough for you to remember. So this is what the display looks like and uh, I haven't used this controller before so let's see how easy it is to operate. So we have um, the uh, Y and X axis movements here. Uh, pulse the laser, start the job. Uh, origin and frame. We also have parameters and this looks like a, another menu system, so we'll press that. Oh yeah, and down the bottom here we have menu. So we'll go into menu. So now we'll have a look at the uh, manufacturer parameter settings. And the password I hope is just 7813 which it is. The uh, axis parameter settings is what we'll look at first. Now the x-axis I have the settings that I saved from my previous uh, controller so we'll have a look at those and I'll enter them in. So that looked uh, pretty easy to uh, set up and what I'm going to do now is press the reset and see how it functions. So that reset now into the right position and what I'm going to do now is send a file to the controller and see how it performs. So now I've got it moving in the right directions. I'm just going to see if Z moves up and down. Up, down. It's working well. And we can go from fast speed middle button to slow movement speed which is good. So we move around freely. Okay. Now what I like about this controller at uh, the Trosen controllers is that it gives a beep when the file is being received from Lightburn so I send the file directly to the controller. It comes up on the screen and gives me a beep so I know that it's um, set correctly. So what I'll do now is um, put in a piece of timber Scrap here. Test it out. Position the laser. Origin. The box. That's good. So there we have our piece, our test piece from uh, the first cut on our laser. Um, very happy with the result. Obviously the laser was already uh, calibrated and I've just entered the calibration settings from my previous controller so uh, the, the result is what I'm, I'm used to. So, so far I'm uh, happy with the controller but uh, I'm going to use it over the next few days and hopefully give you a review, things I like and things I don't like about it. Some of the diagnostic features that are built in are under the uh, more option and we have our inputs so we can see here we have um, values all on one which uh, we can then test. For example our X limit switches, if we activate the X limit switch we can see that it's functioning by changing from a 1 to a 0. The same with our Y limit switch, if I activate it, changes from a 1 to a 0. So we can do our diagnostics using this screen. 
and our outputs we can also test so output one is my exhaust fan which is part of the air assist so when uh, it's tested we press that the exhaust fan comes on as we can hear that there now also part of the air assist is the pneumatic solenoid which uh, controls the air on and air off for the different cut layers and that's connected through to output six so if we test that output six you can hear that the air comes on and the pneumatic solenoid is activated. So just those uh, little features there. We also have options to reset the X and Y, also reset the Z, and then we have the move buttons where we have the uh, arrows for moving our X and Y axis as well as our Z axis. The speedo in the middle is between switching between a slow and fast movements. Uh, this is handy because on the home screen we just have access to the X and Y axis movements and if we want the Z axis we need to press the uh, menu across button and we can access the Z up and Z down buttons. Now back on the main screen we have uh, laser pulse, we have start the job, we can set our origin and do a frame or a box around our frame. But uh, we have these options under here, which we have other. We can do our autofocus if we have the autofocus enabled, and we can move our X and Y to the origin. Like I said, the touchscreen is uh, very nice and clear and bright, easy to uh, navigate, and uh, very responsive. So in the description below, I'll put a link to where you can purchase one of these AWC7813 controllers. And uh, if you like the video, uh, hit the thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I release new videos in the future. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, take care. Cheers.